Why hello there everybody, my name is Kador, and welcome to the first episode of a brand new series I'm starting on this channel called Weird Electronic Music Genres. In this series I will basically be finding some weird, uh, obscure, strange, or generally unknown electronic music genres, and I'll just be talking about them, uh, giving some examples of them, and sharing my thoughts and opinions on them. I don't know how many episodes of this series I'm going to be able to put out, because there's only so many of these super weird, obscure electronic music genres. It's pretty specific. But um, I'll probably be able to get at least like three or so. And today I'm going to be starting with noise music, or more specifically, uh, Japan noise, which is noise music that originated in Japan, as you might guess. And actually, even more specifically than that, electronically produced Japan noise, because there's all sorts of different kinds of noise music, and not all of it is necessarily electronic. So, what is noise music? Well, noise music is essentially music, but without the melody, rhythm, or really even any structural composition whatsoever. So, yeah, you basically take out almost everything that makes music music, and sort of focus on what's left, which is basically just noise. Noise music is one of the most abstract forms of music, and it's definitely not for everybody. But uh, here's some examples of what noise music can be. So there are many different types of noise music. There is the type where you basically have a bunch of uh, acoustic or like electroacoustic instruments, like an electric guitar or something, and you just kind of like jam with them uh, and make sound and just kind of don't care about a melody or anything, you just kind of make noise with these instruments. Then there's the more chaotic side of noise music, where you basically have someone screaming into a microphone, um, going around smashing things, and just making a general chaotic mess of everything. I guess it's supposed to uh, kind of excite the crowd, produce adrenaline or whatever. This is very avant-garde and or hardly even music at all, but depends on your definition, I guess. And there's also various other kinds of noise music genres like sort of rock infused with noise music, but what we're going to be focusing on today is electronically produced noise music. And more specifically, we're going to be focusing on the artist Merzbo, or Merzbo or something. I'm going to go with Merzbo. He is probably the most popular Japanese artist, and he works entirely with electronics. So basically, what he does is mainly kind of live shows, where he'll go up on stage, put down a table with all his equipment on it, and his equipment basically consists of like a synth or something that's uh, emitting sort of a white noise or TV static type sound, and then he has all these other effect, um, effect devices and stuff that are all hooked up to it, um, with all these like, you know, knobs and dials and sliders and whatever, and each of those kind of manipulates the noise in a certain way. So you just have this one tone of noise playing, and he just turns the knobs and whatever in improvisationally live, and just messes with the sound and changes the quality of the noise. Most electronic music is sort of pre-programmed and uh, worked on almost more like painting a painting or something like that, just kind of like step by step perfecting little things and playing it over and over again until you get it right. But noise music is very different. It's almost like jazz in a way, except obviously a very different type of sound. For the most part, it is improvisational. You just kind of mess around on stage, see what you can do, and hopefully people will like it. Merzbo specializes in harsh noise, but there are other kinds of noise too, obviously. Uh, harsh seems to be the most popular, but there is sort of ambient type noise music as well. More relaxing kind of stuff. Noise music can really be whatever, it just has to be noise and, you know, subtract those other elements of music that I talked about earlier and you get noise. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a Merzbo live show. Hey, it rhymes. Merzbo live show. Roll a clip. So 
So yeah, that's basically what noise music is for the most part, at least electronic noise music. It's just noise. It's, it's what it sounds like. So now we're going to come to sort of my opinion on this whole thing. Well, so if you ask what's the point of listening to noise music, it's just random noise. Why does anybody enjoy this? Well, for me, I don't love noise music. Uh, I have to be in a very specific mood to listen to it. Um, and at first, it is quite annoying and harsh, at least for like Merzbaum stuff, um, the harsh noise side of things. And it can be quite off-putting at first. But I find that if I listen to it for like maybe five to ten minutes and just kind of like keep listening to it after that, it sort of just becomes part of the sounds around me and I almost don't even really notice the harsh quality of it anymore. I can just kind of focus on the noise and it just becomes almost relaxing. For me, it's sort of like meditation music, as weird as that may sound. I find I can just kind of relax and clear all the other thoughts in my head and just kind of listen to this noise take shape and change over time. Um, and it's actually quite interesting. It's a pretty cool experience. I actually made a sort of noise track myself that's all improvisational and whatever. Uh, using software instead of hardware, because I'm cheap. And I discovered that it's actually a lot more fun to make noise music than to listen to it. It's really fun just messing around and changing the quality of the noise live and just kind of doing whatever you want with it. If you want to listen to the thing I made, there's a link in the description below uh, to my SoundCloud and um, to that song. You can follow my SoundCloud if, if you want. I probably won't be posting too much more noise, but you never know. As opposed to electronic music in general. But anyway, with that out of the way, yeah, so I, I like to listen to it for kind of relaxing, uh, almost meditative purposes. Um, but it seems like a lot of other people listen to, like, harsh noise, especially as sort of like an adrenaline boost and to get really excited and really, like, let's smash everything kind of thing. Um, and that, especially at the live shows where there is people that are just wrecking everything on stage and screaming really loudly. With those kinds of shows, the audience usually gets just as pumped as the person that's performing. And, uh, yeah, things just get pretty crazy. But yeah, anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions on noise music, and Japanese, all that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like noise music? Do you think it's really cool or interesting? Do you hate it? Do you think it's really annoying and just grating on the ears, just very obnoxious to listen to. What do you think? But regardless, I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, if you did, you can like it if you want. That'd be cool. Uh, and subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting like album reviews of electronic music artists and uh, hopefully more episodes of this show as well. So yeah, that's just about it. See ya.